Um, hi, my name's Caitlin and I'm with System Group at the minute, completing my business administration apprenticeship. Hi, my name's Georgia and I'm currently completing a business administration apprenticeship with System Group. Um, I think I decided to start an apprenticeship because it's kind of it's a start in your career because you're able to learn, you, you're learning as you're working. So it's it's good. It gives you hands on knowledge for the apprenticeship and you also gain a qualification out of the end of it. Um, so I did my music degree first and after I'd done that, I realised all the roles that I wanted to do needed like some admin experience of some kind. But it was really hard to get a job within the admin sector when you don't have admin experience. So getting an apprenticeship for me was a really good way for like still earning money and being in a job but still learning the skills and experience that I needed to fill that gap in my knowledge and then be able to progress in my career. Um, I'd definitely say I know that I'm helping people make a difference in their life as well because although I'm an apprentice what I do is help people get onto their own apprenticeship so I'm kind of like that I'm helping them do that because I know the benefits I'm already getting from it and I know what they're going to get um, but I also like especially in the lockdown I don't get to speak to many people so like I get like working with other people and speaking to them on teams and learning things from other colleagues because I've already learned loads of things from them already so I've still got quite a long time to go on my apprenticeship so be, uh, I'm excited to see what else I'll learn from them as well. Brilliant. So I, I like best, I think I'm quite a trotty person, so I like communicating with the students. Um, I know we've had quite a lot of calls with um, different learners throughout the time that we've worked for system groups. So I, I, I do like that part of it. I also like um, developing my understanding for the business through work. And I think working with different people in the business, we do gain that sort of understanding. have learned that apprenticeships aren't just for I think a lot of people have a stereotype of an apprentice and it's a school it is maybe a school leaver or someone quite young whereas yeah. apprenticeships are for anyone and there's always an apprenticeship for whatever whatever you want to do there is most probably an apprenticeship for you um yeah. no matter what age you are so that's that's one thing that's one big thing that I've learned brilliant um, I think I'd say it's to set realistic goals. Um, when I came out of uni, there was all these like talk about getting your dream job and how you can get there. But they don't really talk about that gap in between where you've come out of uni and you've got to get to that place. Um, so although I, like, I, need to, I want to get there, setting realistic goals is being able to get there by many steps. So you set the goals for the steps in between, not just that big jump. Um, and I use that in my everyday work as well. There's no point in me setting a goal to get something done by the end of the day if I know that it's not going to get done by then. Um, just be realistic with what you want, what you can do, because it'll keep you more motivated than setting goals that you're not going to be able to do in that short space of time, because they'll more likely to bring you down than motivate you. I've realised that like George said before, apprenticeships aren't just for people who just come out of school or like vocational apprenticeships for maybe like if you wanted to be a carpenter or things like that. There are apprenticeships out there for, for anything um, and they're a really, really good way to boost your knowledge and skills whilst also being in a job and earning money because I know some people can't afford to do training without being in a job and this is a great way to fuse the two together and, and take the steps to your career goals. Yeah, definitely. I think you can gain a qualification whilst working as well, or, or skills and knowledge um, whilst working. And I think that's it's such a good way of um, developing your knowledge rather than just having it, having a qualification. You, see, you, you get a bit more hands-on experience. Um, I've kind of got two. So the one, first one's kind of before you start is don't be afraid to ask questions. Um, if you don't know what your apprenticeship means or what it's about, just ask because we would like, especially in system group, when I've, I have learners asking me like, so what do I actually do? 
you're so much better knowing everything that you're going to have to do and what what you're going to get out of it before you sign up to it than than afterwards yeah um and then once you start your apprenticeship my top tip is keep on top of your off the job hours um we get a, a one day a week where we do our off the job stuff but we also need to keep an eye on what we do in our everyday jobs because off the job hours isn't just stuff you do on your off the job time it, it can be any training that you do um with your role it can be any time that you do something new that you've never done before that counts because you're learning a new skill so just keep an eye on what you're doing in your working day and what kind of things might uh, work towards your off the job hours uh, and you can always ask your skills coach you can always like write things down and just say to your skills coach when you speak to them um, I did this this week I don't know if this counts to my off the job can we talk about it and see if it adds up because I, I think your skills coaches would rather you have that conversation with them than you just dismissing it because you might be yeah. missing that one off the job stuff that is really valuable brilliant So obviously we're doing a business admin apprenticeship. Um, so we're getting all all the importance of working in a business, I guess. And I think once you've got a business admin apprenticeship, you can kind of you, you will be able to go into any. I mean, astronaut maybe not, but you'd be able to go into any sort of job and say, well, I've completed a business admin apprenticeship, and this will. It, it, I think it'll help you you've got good communication in the workplace you've got a good understanding of what a business expects from you so i think it, it'll definitely help with with my career so as i said before i did my music degree um and i don't want to leave that behind i'd love to work in the music industry but um all the jobs that i would love to do uh, required admin experience of some kind so um specifically doing the business admin apprenticeship is going to help me fill that gap um but also there's so many transferable skills that we learn, so like communication, um, even like reading and writing, like writing a letter to someone. You might not have ever had to do that until you get into a job. So things like that are going to be really helpful for me.